While on a holiday trip through Yellowstone National Park, vacationer Raymond Reich made the ill-advised decision to interact with a bison, leading to an encounter that left the animal unimpressed and resulted in an incident best described as a form of poetic justice. A startled onlooker captured the subsequent events on camera. Raymond Reich, a 55-year-old road trip enthusiast, was exploring various national parks across the United States. In Yellowstone, celebrated for its hot springs and diverse wildlife, he had a close and regrettable encounter with a bison. Yellowstone, encompassing parts of Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming, is one of over 400 areas protected by the U.S. National Park Service and holds the distinction of being the first designated national park. It also enjoys UNESCO World Heritage Site status. The park is renowned for its geysers, including the famously regular Old Faithful, and houses nearly half of the world's geysers, all fueled by the active supervolcano beneath Yellowstone Lake. Another remarkable aspect of Yellowstone is its rich array of habitats that host a variety of species, including some that are endangered, threatened, or found exclusively in the area. Among these is one of the oldest bison herds in the United States, as well as an audacious individual who made headlines in July 2018. A video of the incident, shared on social media, depicts Raymond Reich, a resident of Pendleton, Oregon, making noises and gesturing toward a bison while in a line of vehicles. Lindsay Jones in the car ahead recorded the ensuing events, capturing the bison's agitated response. Clearly irritated by Reich's actions, the bison charges toward him, narrowly missing him. Reich's provocative behavior persists, including gestures and growls, further provoking the bison to charge again, this time in a more aggressive manner. Disturbed by the unfolding events, Jones briefly stops filming, expressing her inability to watch any further. The bison eventually lost interest and departed, leaving Raymond Reich unharmed. Following this incident, the National Park Service received numerous complaints of wildlife harassment. Initially, the New York Post reported that Rake was attempting to clear the bison from the road. Dan Wank, the superintendent of Yellowstone National Park, later addressed the incident in a Facebook post. Wank characterized Rake's behavior as reckless, dangerous, and illegal, emphasizing the importance of visitors acting as stewards of Yellowstone by maintaining a safe distance from wildlife. Wank stressed, that these recommended distances serve to protect both visitors and the unique experience of sharing the landscape with thousands of freely roaming animals. He emphasized that individuals who disregard these rules jeopardize their own safety and the park experience for others. While American bison are not classified as endangered, there are limited populations of truly wild bison in the United States. They are the largest land mammals in the country capable of reaching speeds exceeding 30 miles per hour and weighing up to 2,000 pounds. It is advisable to steer clear if one charges in your direction. Yellowstone National Park holds a special status as a sanctuary for bison, considered the prime example of Wild Plains bison preservation in North America. These animals have inhabited the park since prehistoric times, rendering it unique in the United States, with this bison herd holding particular significance. Given their importance, the National Park Service has implemented regulations to protect these animals. One such rule mandates that people maintain a safe distance from bison, which is set at 25 yards. Regrettably, Raymond Reich did not adhere to these rules. Upon investigation by the National Park Service, it was revealed that Reich had committed additional offenses during his week-long road trip. Just a few days earlier, he had been arrested for disorderly conduct related to intoxication in Grand Teton National Park, leading to an overnight detention. Despite being released on bond, Reich had been explicitly instructed to abstain from alcohol. Nevertheless, just three days later, he was cited for not wearing a seatbelt in Yellowstone, where officers noted his apparent intoxication and argumentative behavior. On August 2, Reich was arrested once more when park rangers responded to a disturbance in the dining room of a hotel in Glacier National Park. This marked his third encounter with law enforcement within a mere week. Consequently, Reich pleaded guilty to four separate misconduct charges, including aggressively provoking a bison. Despite the trouble he had caused during his road trip, Reich expressed remorse in court, saying, I'm sorry to the buffalo. He didn't deserve what I did to him. 
The judge sentenced Reich to 130 days in jail and imposed a five-year probation period. He was also prohibited from entering Yellowstone, Grand Teton, and Glacier National Parks during this time, along with being forbidden from consuming alcohol or frequenting bars. On social media, some users argued that Rake received a lenient punishment and advocated for a lifetime ban from all national parks. The judge himself acknowledged Rake's good fortune, stating, you're lucky the Bison didn't take care of it, and you're standing in front of me. Other Twitter users expressed a desire for an alternative form of justice, with one suggesting Rake needed a hoof to the face, and another recommending, give him to the Bison. It is hoped that Rake adheres to the ban, as his next wildlife encounter may not be as forgiving.